What is up guys, Joe Holland here. Got a special one for you today. I am down here in Southern Maine, near Sebago Lake. We got the Otter Ponds right over here. This is the seventh annual Veteran Fishing Day set up by Operation Ray of Light and the Maine Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife. We have several game wardens here, several members from the state and several volunteers to help out and get some veterans on the water and give them a great time fishing. It is really frigid cold this morning. We're looking at nine degrees Fahrenheit. Got a little bit of wind. It's supposed to get sunny and blue skies today and get up into the mid twenties, which would be really nice. We, we got a serious cold front moving in. Got some snow yesterday. Looking to have a great day, guys. Yeah, that's riding in style right here. I'm sitting on school bus seats. Check out this way. They're getting fired up now. What do you think, buddy? Is the reel going? All right, here. I right, grab that line, pull it, pull it. I don't think pull it hard, yet. pull it hard. You got one. He's way off to the side. Throw the line to the side. Throw it down, yeah. boy, yeah! Brook trout. What do you got? Trout. Got? All right, Joel, show it to the camera. Is it six inches or bigger? Yeah, it's it's Oh yeah, six way inches. over six. You keeping it or throwing it back? I'm keeping it. Okay. <sighs> Look at how pretty that fish is. Why don't you wind that up a little and put another bait on it? That, that was not... down at the bottom. Joel, good job, buddy. Wow, look at how pretty that thing is. Holy cow. Oh, look yeah. at the colors on that. Get it out in the sun. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> if you painted that, people wouldn't believe you. It's perfect. All right, which pocket you want it in? Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, this one right here. Inside. The, the, the front, yeah. Warm, right? <laughs> yeah well. All right, guys, this is Pete Herring. Pete's the guy who spearheaded this event. And I know he's done a ton of work. And he's got a ton of effort going into this. Everything from cooking to getting fish in the pond to getting people on the ice to getting the bait and everything else. And we're just really thankful that you're doing this for the veterans and, and for the sportsmen and everything. And well, this, this is all about the vets and it's, it's more or less an appreciation for the sacrifices they've made. You know, them and their families. And, mm -hmm. you know, this is something that's very passionate to me. We started this uh, seven years ago. Uh, this is the sixth annual. We had to take a year off because of COVID, sure. unfortunately. And uh, that being said, uh, it's it's near and dear to my wife and I, and we started this seven years ago. We had a, a, a close uh, friend who committed suicide uh, during the winter months after coming back from uh, uh, the war. Mm -hmm. And one of the problems was, and that we found out through the, his investigation in, in regards to his death is that you know, these guys don't have a big vent in the winter time, and Maine has hard winters. Mm -hmm. uh, these these men and women, they, they sit in their uh, their house and look at the same four walls. And mm -hmm. so our whole object seven years ago was to try to get these guys and girls out and, and teach them a sport and, and teach them to appreciate the outdoors. And I felt that by supplying them a hot meal, a hot cabin to fish out of, uh, you know, make everything free, let them come out and really enjoy the sport that, you know, they'd go on to teach their family members and, and do things as a family oriented uh, sport. And it's really grown year after year. It's gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, logistically, it's it's a lot of work. But, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, leading up to this, I mean, we supply all the food, all sure. the bait, all the traps. They don't need licenses. Um, our whole goal is, is just to come down here, enjoy the day and walk away with memorable experiences. Yeah. And that being said, uh, it's it's a very humbling experience for sure. my wife and I and the, the other wardens that volunteer to help with this. You know, you look back and, and you watch the smiles and the fish that are being caught and mm -hmm. the, the family orientated thing and, you know, getting just even the vets together as a group, mm -hmm. you know, those are their peers and it gives them somebody to talk to. And what I have noticed after seven years is a lot of these guys and girls They've formed their own fishing clubs and nice. you know, they go derby to derby to derby and you know, I kind of follow that process and you know, it's, it's, it's humbling for me and you know, I'm fortunate working for Inland Fisheries and Wildlife, they give me this platform to be able to do this. Sure. I, I couldn't do it without their support. Sure. I couldn't do it without the support of the local vendors who take a really, 
you know, a big, big pride in our veterans. And it, it, this is a big thank you. And it's a thank you from the community. And without those sponsors and stuff like that, I couldn't pull this off. Oh, but nice. each and every year, uh, you know, it, it gets bigger and we hope it continues to grow. And, you know, like I say, I'm until I retire, I'm going to keep doing it. Well, thank you so much on behalf of the sportsmen and, and I'm sure on behalf of the veterans, we... You know, we can't thank you enough for what, you, what you're doing for these guys. And, well, and, you know, the thanks goes to these guys and girls. For sure. You know, the, yeah. the sacrifice these folks have made and their families, and, you know, that's where the thanks belongs. Absolutely. Guys, and if you know a veteran at home that maybe has never tried ice fishing or, or maybe is in a funk or something, bring them out ice fishing. There's nothing better, in my opinion. Than no, especially get, on a day like yeah. today, breathing, breathing this fresh air. Yeah. You know, we always have plenty of food. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what you, you said earlier, if you go away hungry, it's your own fault. Oh, yeah. No, we, we, we supply everything up there. And like I say, we and it, it's, it's not cheap stuff. You nope. know, our sponsors give us yeah. restaurant quality. That's right. And, you know, I got to give a shout out to the cooks, too. Sure. You know, yeah. the one thing I will say is we're been adopted from the Maine Chefs Association. Oh, no kidding. And they send, you know, generally three cooks, and they're all veterans. Yeah. And, you know, they volunteer their time to come down here and cook for people. So, um Again, it just goes back to the sponsors. This isn't a one-person show. Without the help of everybody, yourself included, we couldn't pull this off That's here after amazing. Year. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it every year. And now, guys at home who might want to volunteer or help at all, how can they help in a situation like this? Well, generally, they could reach out and, and talk to me, you know, call the main warden service. Mm -hmm. I work out of the gray office. We also promote this on the veterans' websites. Mm -hmm. It's generally, it's the first or second weekend of January every year. And uh, somebody wants to donate, somebody wants to reach out and help and come down and spend the day, we'd love to have you. That's awesome. Well, thanks again. This is incredible. Well, thank you. All right. It's running pretty good. It's running. Go, is it sideways? Yeah, it's running. Oh, is it the same one? All right, give it a yank, give it a yank. All right, that's a good that's one. the same one. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a good one. Keep pulling, keep pulling. Still oh, on? Oh, yeah. Go on, keep going, on. keep going, keep going. I hope. Keep going, keep going. Oh, Whoa! Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the size of that brookie! Woo. Nice one! Hey, Alright, good job! I think I, that's the biggest brook I've ever seen. That is a big brook trout. Alright, there you go, buddy. Buddy. <laughs> you wanna hold him up? We'll get you on YouTube if you want. Anybody who wants to be on YouTube, jump in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is awesome. You like that? Yeah, that's a yeah. big one. That is a big, heavy brookie. All right, that's the biggest brookie you ever caught? Yeah. Nice. Beautiful fish, buddy. All right, beauty. All right. <laughs> oh, they got one in the jig bowl? <laughs> Go. <laughs> you got one on the jig bowl? Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Did you get to see it come in? Yeah. Really? This was quick. Wow, are you going to keep it or let it go? Oh, yeah, I'm going to keep it. You're keeping that one? Okay. Mom, we're having some good dinner tonight. <laughs> you got that right. Oh, yeah. Good job. Do you want to hold that or do you want to lay it down? Yeah. Hold it right up for this gentleman's camera yeah. right here. Yeah. All right, guys, they're feeding now, guys. Dad, your gloves are over there. I got two tapes on there. Bought 20 years ago. I'm going to I, I you, stockpiled years ago. Do you remember arresting this guy about 20 years ago? He didn't arrest me. Did do, you, do you remember writing him a ticket right I up the road here? I don't. Good. It's good. They're good. good. <laughs> what did I get you for? All right, guys, here. I'm, I'm here with Jim. I'm here with Operation Ray of Light. We are having a great day. Kids, oh, there's a, a kid and a veteran chasing a flag right now, about to catch a big brookie. Sorry, we, we don't have that footage. Well, we'll get you on long distance, but Jim's... Now, you helped set this up, right, Jim? Right. We founded this in uh, 2015 um, to help out with uh, veterans and, and uh, PTSD support and, uh, and uh, trying to really build a community um, of veterans and families and uh, trying to help reduce the 22 veteran suicides a day that take place. And uh, that's where we started the figuring, trying to find something for the wintertime with ice fishing. It's uh, being outdoors. It's just kind of a really cool camaraderie and family type event out here. And we are pretty much out every weekend, every weekend during the season, and we've just consistently been growing them, and sounds like someone's having fun. They just caught a big one. Nice, beautiful. 
I mean, people can check out the website. They can uh, also check out the Facebook sites, like our Facebook page. And, uh, you know, if you're a veteran, you're a family, a spouse of a veteran, and you want to get your family out, um, definitely join the page and then shoot us a message and we definitely can uh, can get you guys out on the ice. We also have a lot of different, you know, seasonal activities, whether it be fishing during the summer, uh, bass fishing, you know, there's just a lot of different opportunities. And, um, you know, we, we just love getting families out and really building the community that we have. You know, a lot of places have military bases where you have an instant community and in Maine, we don't have that anymore. So we're building our own community here in uh, Southern Maine with our veterans and their families. You got them? Go, Teddy, go, go, go. Hold on. Wait. Oh, oh, I feel oh. him, I feel him. There you go. Yeah! Yay! All right, Teddy. Veteran, anything? Oh, yeah. The little one? Probably. The little one. Oh, look at how pretty that one is. All right, Chris. Nice job. Remember when you hold it out, it makes it look bigger. Uh, uh, nice. I get the angle. Nice job, buddy. <laughs> nice. Oh, good, kick. good hands. Flag went up. Boys have already gotten there, so time for dad to get some. So. Did you have a long ride getting down here? Uh, yeah, about uh, about an hour and a half. Yep. Come up from the mountains. Nice. But uh, and you brought the boys, and the boys, the boys are already yeah. catching them. That's right. Yeah. You got you got one already. Yeah, that's right. Oh, the other boy. I don't know where he ended up. Oh, he's chasing nice. Sasquatch. Right, that's a beauty. Uh, nice uh, rookie. Chris, turn around for a second. Hey, Chris. There you go. So, guys, we have the commissioner here from this for this Department of Inland Fisheries, State of Maine, and we are just so happy to have you with us, and we're so happy to have you here and everything that you guys are doing for the veterans and yeah. and the opportunities in Maine for fishing are just incredible, and we really thank you guys for managing and all the hard work you do. So, yeah. is, is there anything? Any thoughts on today? Or? Well, no, I mean, I just want to um, thank you for being here and helping sure. us promote it. You know, these sorts of events the department does are uh, kind of core to our mission. And, um, you know, we all value um, our veterans and, and everything they've done for all of us. And so, you know, this is a just a, one of the littlest things we could do sure. to try and help get folks out. And it, this is a relatively accessible place, so it's a good spot. There's a lot of people, you know, in this area. There's a flag, couple flags. <laughs> yeah, so it's great to get, you know, a great way to get people out in the wintertime and enjoying the natural resources and ice fishing and hopefully exposing, you know, there's lots of kids and grandkids here, so exposing more people to ice fishing, yeah. giving them some tools for, oh, another flag right here. Flag! <laughs> flag! 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 <laughs> flag! <laughs> Don't let these don't let these fish interrupt us. <laughs> we could go over and awesome. see how they do if you'd yeah. like. Who's getting this one, guys? Is this Henry's or Teddy's? Teddy's. You guys, you got you got the commissioners overseeing this, so so don't put any pressure don't on you. Don't drop it. Do not drop it. <laughs> Here, here you go. Right. Set that hook. See what happens. Feel tug yank it. Nothing. Wait. Nope. No, oh, he stripped you. No. Oh, he stripped you. There's some bait right there, Ben. The pressure. So, Commissioner, I really yeah. want to just take a minute to commend you for the wardens at the state. They are the most exemplary of all the people I've met anywhere in the entire U.S. for law enforcement. Yeah, yeah. These guys are just stand up. They're top notch. Yeah, top notch. Yeah. I know. You know, 30, 40 years ago, there was a different view, you know, and there, was a, there wasn't a great relationship between the people and the sportsmen and the wardens. But nowadays, it's, it's just hand in hand. They're just great guys, and they work really hard to protect our resources. So, they do. So yeah. I want to I definitely Thank commend you, you on I that. On behalf of all the sportsmen in the state of <laughs> Maine, and we really appreciate yeah, I'm, I'm how hard so, you guys work. I'm so privileged to work with such an amazing group of people. They're so dedicated and responsible and passionate about so many different things that we oversee and manage and not just protecting fish and wildlife but getting people out I mean today's yeah. a classic example of getting people out and giving them opportunities and reaching out to new audiences you know they, they really do Warden Service really is a face of the agency they interact with so many people um, and you know the, the folks that we have working for us now are just they are top notch really I think they're the best law enforcement in the country I agree I've been all <laughs> over the country and I've met Warden no everywhere. offense to any no. of our, of our 
<laughs> no, kind of no, no offense. We have a pretty special group. Yeah, we're yeah. proud of our wardens yeah, here in Maine, sure. and they do a great job. The winters here are long. Yeah. You know, if you're not into skiing, no, right? Get outside, guys. Yeah. If you're not into skiing, you could. There's so many opportunities. Know, Snowmobiling. Great way to get outside. Yeah. Ice fishing. Ice fishing is the really best. Accessible for folks and doesn't require a ton of gear and. You know, just make sure you check the ice for sure. Oh, yeah, but. always check for safe <laughs> ice. But the amount of opportunities we have in Maine yeah. with our warm water so fisheries lucky. and our cold water fisheries yeah. is incredible. Yeah. Year-round, really. Yeah. You know, there's a year-round opportunity. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, great. thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, thanks for being thanks here. For thanks for being everything here. that you're doing. Absolutely. Awesome. My pleasure. All right. Thank you. There it is. Oh, that's a lake trout. Oh, my God. You're not allowed to keep those. I hope there's no wardens around, guys. <laughs> who, who kept that? I really hope there's no wardens around. How do you set that? That you kept it? That's a lake trout. You're not allowed to keep oh, those here. Oh, that's a lake trout? Oh my gosh. Oh, so we, no, that's are, a lake. are you, are you, is this? Because huh, you're not allowed to keep lakers. Oh my that's gosh. That's a lake trout? Why can't oh. you keep lake trout? It's against the law to keep them in this lake. Oh, I Teddy, what are we going to do? Uh -oh, Teddy. Um, put them back in. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's a brook trout. Good job, buddy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, what? That's so, a, like a lake trout. So, yeah, so look. See the, the square tail? Mm. Oh, that's, yeah. a, that's a really good way to tell it's a brookie. And then with the dots, with the red dots in it. And then and then these white on the bottom of the fins. Uh, okay? So it's just a different color. That's all. Right. It's a weird oh, look, color, oh, though. You guys got a stack of brookies going here. And, yeah. Yeah, all, all from this hole. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> We're slamming the brook trout. We're having a blast. The veterans are catching them. Their kids are catching them. Just a great day for all. And my good buddy Wayne from Sebago Bay just showed up. Wayne brought all the hot dogs and hamburgers, donated them all. Just shows you what it's like here in Maine and, and small businessmen just doing a great thing for the community. Thank you, Wayne. You're welcome. Thanks oh, for having us. Oh, my God. I'm about to go up and eat a couple of those nice all-beef hot dogs. All-beef hot dogs. And, and a couple burgers, too. I'm going to go enjoy a couple of those myself. Compliments of Wayne. Thanks, buddy. I hope so. Well, you guys run into a little school. Yeah. Oh my gosh! You see that? I know. That was a couple one, quick. One right after another. A couple good minutes. There. These guys right here. Great. So I heard something about burgers. Anybody know anything about that? Hot dogs, burgers. There's chili. I got some chili. The chili was out of this world. Yeah. Thank you. I just want. Did you I make that? This morning, I was up at like Thank one a.m. So what is your name? Joe. Joe. Joe Holland. Holland. Yep. Okay, I've heard your name. Tracy Herring. Nice to meet you. Nice that, to meet that's you. chili. YouTube sensation right That chili was out of this world. Oh, thank yes, you. Hold on. Could thank you. you. Yes, right. We can do that. Jeez. <laughs> so so Tracy made this incredible chili out of moose meat. Moose meat. And it's so good. I'm about to go get some more of that. Drive a couple hot dogs in me and maybe a burger. There you go. Yeah, Glad you so loved good. it. Thank you so much. You're for, welcome. And for, and for putting this on. Oh, too. you're I, welcome. I know you do it's a lot our, of hard It's work. our pleasure. It's, it's yeah. near and dear to Pete's heart. Yeah. Okay. Let's throw one of them babies on there. Drive one of them right into me. Dave's over here, grill master Dave's running the grill. He's put a bunch of burgers and dogs out already. Thanks, Dave. Looking good. All right, so we got a hot cup of coffee over here. We got a bunch of coffee, a bunch of donations from the cookie jar pastry shop in Cape Elizabeth. These donuts, the box weighs like 10 pounds each. Oh, yeah. They they are for real donuts. They're yeah. like awesome. they're like take a nap after. Yeah. You can't eat two, or you'll be yeah, you'll no. be sleeping. Yeah. It's All calorie free today, though. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I heard that. So I might as well eat another half that's on, right? right? That's right. <laughs> two halves make a whole. You need to try every flavor. Right. Yeah. Right. I see red ones in here. It's your duty. Exactly. Here you go. Awesome. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. All right, Ben, what we're going to do is I'm going to pick up this trap, the whole unit, and you're going to grab the line and you're going to give it a yank like this, a tug, just like we practiced over there. And then as fast as you can, you're going to pull the rest of that line in, okay? And if there's a fish on there, you can just flop them right on the ice. Hey, there's another flag there, too. I don't know. If, yeah, he's there. All right. So go ahead, yank it, yank it. Oh, all right, keep keep him coming. Might have been. Oh yeah, bring him right out. Bring him right out. Whoa! Good yank on that one. First fish ever. Was that your first fish? First fish ice fishing. Nice. Are we gonna bring him home or are we gonna let him back? Take him home. You take him home. You got it. All right. All right, Ben, with your first fish. Yeah. Whoa! You stabbing the fish? There you go. That and it makes the fish look bigger. 
You, <laughs> oh, you gotta hold it way out to make it look bigger, and then you get the camera close, <laughs> camera, yeah. like that. And you gotta hide your fingers when you do that. Yeah. <laughs> Who's whose is it? Okay. Hey, got one. Now, so far. Just do this. Give it some wine. I'll put the trap down. I don't know. It looks like he dropped it. What do you guys think? Oh, oh no, give oh. it to me. Oh. You set the hook? No, I didn't set it. Whoa, keep coming, keep coming. Whoa, my Whoa. God! Whoa. Whoa. He's huge! Whoa. Whoa. Hey. That's a giant! <laughs> wow! Oh my God! Look at the size of that one. Good job, buddy. Got two big ones. Two giants today. All right, number two. Yeah. All right, good job, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> I can't believe it. So what do you think about this event? Is this cool or what? It's awesome. It's a great opportunity to get him out in the house and show. Yeah, yeah they restrict me and everything. I got a hat in my mouth. Oh, is that right? I got to go to the county office. They get, I can't do anything. Oh, bummer. Bob, Bob's a friend yeah. of mine from my gym and, and uh, served him the end of World War II. And this is a grandson was a paratrooper. Oh, thank Walmart you, sir. Thank you for your service. World War II? Yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much. How, old, how young are you right now? 93. 93? 94. Come on. 93 years younger. You're going to catch some fish today? <laughs> well, I don't be the first friggin' time. <laughs> yeah. And this is your grandson? Uh, yeah. 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 You are a paratrooper. Yeah, yeah. Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Yeah. Thank you for Airborne. your service. No problem. All right. Paratrooper. Yeah. Wow. Incredible. <laughs> don't step behind you, whatever you do. <laughs> Yeah, don't. <laughs> That's my son. Great grandson. Awesome. He's Have you guys been to this event before? No, this is the first time I've been. Well, well welcome. Yeah, Somebody yeah, grab some. Who wants a hot dog in the world? <laughs> There's hot dogs up there. Put it on my account. Tell them put it on. Okay. Put it on Joe's account. Charge, Joe's. Charge, yeah. Yeah, just charge it to me. I got a lot of hot dog credit up there. <laughs> yeah, I don't have many burgers what's on your credit. Channel called? But uh, so 93 years old. I will say you're probably the most big. senior person I've ever ice fished with. Is that right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I'd love to get you a fish today. We have a 92-year-old gentleman over there. Oh, yeah. Just a young pup. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that one. Whoa! Whoa, Whoa. 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 nice save. Chris. Good save, buddy. Well done, Teddy. Save and a beauty. You see that anymore. Good <laughs> save. Yeah, let me hold it right over the hole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Teddy, you gotta be good careful. Save. Yeah, yeah, good one. <laughs> All right, hold him up for the camera, buddy. Let me review All right. Nice job, buddy. I'm gonna be on you. Did you give it a kiss for good luck? Go ahead. You, you, you gotta give it a kiss, it or kiss or for good luck. Ah. All right, guys, we have Michael Laddy here from the Maine Game Warden Service. Mike, will you just tell us a little bit about this day here and what, what it means for you guys and what it means for the veterans? And yeah, so um, Warden Herring, who's in the standish area, he's actually right over here. Um, he's done an awesome job these past few years and uh, basically just trying to get veterans out on the ice during the winter. Winter's along here in Maine. We want to get them out, enjoy the day, have a good time, and uh, we want to support them 100% for everything they've gone through. So um, it's great to be a part of it. We have an awesome job, great help, good food, and uh, it's great to see people kept uh, catching fish today. So, awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for putting this yeah, on. I'm happy to do it. I just got another flag. Being... Oh, there you go. Another flag. So, <laughs> Flags have been flying yeah, all day. Yeah, it's been good. It's been good. A ton of, so, ton of brook trout. We ice. don't like to give the secret away, but we might have uh, helped them out a little bit a few days ago. So, yeah. Um, but well, we hey, make sure we want to make sure that they're catching fish and having a good time. So yeah, There's been a ton of smiles and a ton of fish on the ice. and It's just been an excellent day. Yeah. So that on the side. Let's talk about, to the viewers at home, yeah. and guys, if you're thinking about getting into ice fishing, what are some safety precautions that, that you guys would tell somebody new to ice fishing to, to maybe yeah. maybe think about before the, heading the, out? The biggest one I can't stress enough is ice safety. Um, never assume the ice is safe. Always check it every 10, 15 feet, even if you see other people out there. Sure. Um, make sure you're checking that ice, because um, pressure ridges, holes will open up and stuff like that. Um, invest in a good pair of ice picks and a mm -hmm. chisel, and uh, you'll be good. But you know there's no problem with talking to people going out seeing how they're doing stuff um talking to your local bait shops and they can always give you some good pointers and stuff like awesome. that so awesome then always have a plan always have a plan and tell someone where you're going awesome so, yeah cool well thank you so yeah, much thanks no again problem. for putting this on yeah thanks for coming and everything so, you guys are doing yeah definitely awesome. happy cool. to do it thanks bro Here's the race. 
Are you going to me and back or just to me? Around you and back. So they got a crisscross. They got a crisscross. Okay. And if there's I'm incidental sure contact, that's yeah. okay. Someone's good. <laughs> there could be a... Wait, 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 wait. Remember, yeah, no, your legs okay. are like Set. inches longer this Go. Oh. oh, geez, a good start <laughs> off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> He's not ahead by much, though. Oh, oh. oh that was a good turn. Oh, no. was a good it's turn. It's going to be down to the wire. <laughs> <laughs> he got up, yes. What are you doing? I'm eating the head off. Why? Because I can. Okay. Good Go, reason. You have to swallow it. No, you don't. <laughs> oh, God. It's gone. <laughs> I did it. People are starting to filter out. Chris has taken off. Long time buddy here. Had a great day on the water. Right. Kids yeah. smashed them. You smashed them. Yeah, it was awesome. That's Good day. Been, yeah. I haven't caught fish like that in a while, so it's been a fun time. Ton of action. Ton of action. Thanks yep. to the warden service for putting this on. You were surrounded by game wardens, and you're getting out of here without a ticket somehow. <laughs> I don't know how. They, yeah, I don't know how. You, if they yeah. knew who you were, boy, they'd be out of ink. <laughs> no, just kidding. Just kidding, guys. Just kidding. <laughs> no, Chris is as good as they get. I'm here with Warden John Parker. We had an awesome day. I had an incredible time with him. This was your first time here as well? First time. Pete Heron's been trying to get me to come down here for the last seven years. Um, any Anything to do with military, veterans, and stuff like that. I have loved ones that currently serve in and have served. And so it just it hits home. You know yeah. what I mean? And I, I look at it. What I enjoy doing outside, you know, recreate with my family and stuff like that. If it weren't for our veterans and the people that have served, that's why we get to ice fish it, enjoy the sun. You know, I don't care if it's four below or not, you know, it's, it's always a good time getting outdoors. It's refreshing, you know, not just the air, but for our minds and our souls. And uh, it's a way for us to say thanks to these veterans. Absolutely. I mean, there's one gentleman out here in his 90s and his yeah, 93. He, family members from Arizona <laughs> that have never ice fished before. So to be able to just, you know, to see that, it's it's super cool. You're introducing people to our passion, the outdoors, the love, you know, just yep. getting outside and recreate stuff. I think some days we, we just take for granted. You know, we sure. live here in the great state of Maine and it has so much to offer yeah. in ice fishing. It's just, it's one of those things that yeah. I grew up doing as a kid with loved ones and family and, you know, now I'm passing on, but to be able to come down here and, and help out Pete with these veterans, it's just, you know, it hits home. Yeah, sure you know, does. it's just a great, great time, a great event and it's grown over the years yeah. and, you know, hopefully it grow even bigger and, you know, maybe we can do multiple, multiple yeah. events, whether it's ice fishing or open water fishing, you know, maybe even some hunting stuff will add it here, but, yeah. you know, get us plant the seed and, you know, Pete's done a great job and all the volunteers, I couldn't name them all, but he has a lot of help to throw this thing together and, you know, and the weather turned out great. Oh, man. So, so it's pretty much it. a great day. Yeah, a great day. You can't yeah. beat it. Well, thank you, you so it. much for coming down, obviously. And no problem. It was great meeting you, and hopefully yeah. I see you out on, in the woods or on the water sometime. Yeah, I'm sure I'll pass with Cross. Hey, when, when you have the passion for the outdoors, but like I tell people, you might not always see us, but we see you. I know. So. <laughs> I, I got See, that's what I said to him this morning. I was like, I don't think we've ever met. He goes, oh, I know who you are. <laughs>